on a scale of one to 10, if 10 was, man, I'm maximizing this, it is what it is, and I'm maximizing it, and one is, I'm not handling this very well at all. Where would you put yourself on a one to 10? Maybe a three. Okay. Yeah. I would say a zero. Rate your effort in changing your situation, improving your situation, not what anybody else is doing, just what you're doing in terms of saying, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be self-reliant, do everything I can. What's your effort level? What's your output? For the first few years, it was a 10. Um, but lately, it's more of a zero. What I get at this point is that you are very angry, that you are very frustrated, and that you absolutely hate being a burden on the people in your life. That if you're around, they have to do things for you. They have to work. They have to, everything from your bathroom habits to feeding you, to dressing you. Scratching to his head. E everything, that they have to turn you in the night and that, that you're just a burden to everybody around you and that you absolutely hate that and you hate yourself for that. No, Am I missing anything? No, sir. You got, you got it. You, you think I understand? I think you do. Yes, sir. And it's painful at times as well. And yes, sir. so you're having to medicate for that. Yes, sir. You think I get it? Yes, sir. Okay. Then don't ever tell me again. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about other stuff. I, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. Now. To, what? Be, to be able to hear that and move on, just know like, hey, I know how you're feeling. You don't ever have to say it again. We can move on and focus on other problems. That, what you just did, was a really big step for us. Yeah, I want it to be a big step because like I said, I've been doing this a long time and people get in this circular where it is over and over and over and over and over unless you think I'm really stupid or have a bad memory. You don't have to tell me that once. Now let's talk about something else. And you may think, well, he's not very sympathetic. No, I'm not. I'm not sympathetic, I'm empathetic. I am empathetic, I get it, I hear it. I did my homework, I understand it. What I wanna do now is change it. He's testing you every day. I'm aware. And uh, can, can you agree that because you are so insecure, I mean, you got a beautiful girl here, and you're thinking, why would she want me? that you have to test every day to reassure yourself that she's actually going to stay. And so you do everything you can to run her off, and when she doesn't, that gives you a brief relief that she's still there. I've never really thought about it that way, but perhaps so. Yes, Is sir. there any other way to explain why you would be such a jerk? <laughs> I've seen that I reckon, for a while. I, just, I guess my justification has always been to, whenever I'm trying to like, get through to her like how she's treating me and she doesn't understand, I guess my, that's how I result is just to being mean. And to try to get it through her like she's being mean to me, I guess I feel like the only way to get it across to her is to be mean to her. Mm -hmm.